Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode we're going to be discussing my everyday carry for Father's Day 2017, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be discussing my everyday carry for Father's Day 2017. Now a couple things we want to address before we get started is yes, for those of you who entered our 50,000 subscriber giveaway, that giveaway is now closed and we will be doing our best to pick the winners and launching a video or going on a live stream sometime this weekend or Monday. Also to touch base on this, if you have a cousin, father, brother, dad, son who is not as EDC inclined as you are, don't fear because we're going to be rocking some awesome outdoor and survival gear that any father would love at the end of this video. Now, <laughs> there are so many people that ask me down in the comments, hey man, do you wear all this at one time? You must have a lot of pockets. That's just absurd. You're paranoid. No. Really? Does that even look like something even like one of those crazy people of Walmart would carry? No! However, what I will be doing is I will be showing you my actual everyday carry for the items that I will be carrying this weekend and all of next week, as well as doing a little pocket dump for you guys to show you guys how I wear the items. So the easiest way to get through this is for me to wipe everything off the table, and then what we're going to be doing is breaking it down section by section, basically knives, wallets, flashlights, etc. Even though you have a phone, I love having a watch due to the fact that it always is reliable, it will always tell time, and I've had the same exact watch for about four years with the same battery and not had a single issue. In recent years, in the past three to four years, something big has been happening in the world of everyday carry and survival kits and whatnot are necklaces and bracelets. Um, a lot of companies have been pushing innovation to the absolute limits and it's not like something mind-blowing it's just like oh wow that is really cool and it kind of surprises me how many people don't even know that these things exist so which is why I'm so happy to be able to share this on my channel is they have like the bushcraft uh, bracelet which has a ferro rod on it this is the adventure bracelet and the mountain ear from Wazoo survival gear they have some awesome fishing kits wire saws compass navigation um, surgical tubing fire starting of basically everything you need in a wearable survival kit assuming you already know what you're doing last but not least are necklaces this is the bushcraft necklace which is freaking awesome at the self-reliance expo where we're at we were actually starting fires almost the entire time for demonstrations for people with this necklace because a lot of people see a small ferris here on they go oh crap that's going to be extremely hard to start a fire but it's actually pretty simple all you have to do is basically pull it to the ends and you have your drawstring with your ceramic striker and you're pretty much good to go now on top of that this is something pretty awesome from grim workshop this is their dog tag chains now i'm going to be stopping real quick and letting you dive a little deeper of what i'm actually carrying on this but they have basically urban and wilderness tools in a dog tag size set so this one is a little miniature saw they have some fish hooks that you can pop on. This is a spearhead, or you can use it as an arrowhead. Then they have a double fishing hook with a gig set for frog gigging. Then this one is the spork, like I said. This is their self-defense tool. This is a lock pick set. And we have sewing needles. And if you want to learn more about Grimm's Survival Workshop, I'll definitely be throwing an awesome link in the video description for them as well. In addition to their dog tag sets, they also carry the wallet sized cards, which is pretty awesome. And I like these a lot more than other companies that I have seen. This is their fishing kit and their arrowheads. But what I like is they're made in the USA. They typically are much thicker than a lot of other cards from stuff you get at the gas stations, different online retailers and whatnot. But, um, their actual cards, their actual tool cards, the steel is actually thicker. It is actually ready to go. This, like I said, this is their arrowhead set, which is pretty freaking nifty. But they have what is called this black backing on the back of it. It's called their tool retention system. This is not a magnet, and this is not tape. And it allows you to take your tools, put it back on if they're not damaged, without them falling off. Now, this is the Larkin Tactical Pen from BattleBox, but there's also another one that I have that my wife has currently stole. Um, that is the Dino Bone Tactical Pin, which I'll link both of these in the video description. This one comes from BattleBox. You can pick it up in their shop. But it is a pressurized pen that is easily replaceable, but it's also a very effective glass breaker made out of aluminum. 
Now, this tool is freaking awesome. A lot of you guys watched my video just the other day with the Q2 tool from SOG. Now, this is sweet because it's pin sized, but for those days that you want a knife, you want all your tools, bottle opener, flashlight, but you don't want to carry a lot of stuff. You want to actually keep it in a slim profile. This is the tool for you. You get a 70 lumen flashlight that's nice and bright. You have a full size two and a half inch knife, which will do you in a solid pinch no matter what. And then you have your bottle opener and flathead screwdriver. Now, in addition to this, you'll see in the video review, we actually use this tool to start a fire. So in an emergency, this tool will do you solid. Now, the last two pieces come from a company called Smart Designs. Now, I love this stuff. This is very similar to the right in the rain pads, but basically this pad is made of stone. I, I didn't know paper could be made of stone, but it apparently it is. And you get a full size notepad, which is pretty cool, but also what comes with it is this pen. Now, I like this pen a lot because it's a stylus. Then right up here is an eraser for the pencil that is included. And all of this stuff writes really, really well. But you have your black pencil and a red pen as well. So pretty much anything you need as a writing utensil in your everyday life, you actually get this entire set. I think it's like 20 bucks. It's freaking awesome. These have ended up being some of my two favorite flashlights. And wow, this is the H1 R Nova and the H2 R Nova by Olight. Now, a lot of people go an L-shaped flashlight, really? Yeah, definitely. Um, both of these are extremely bright. They are tough as nails. And if you watch my channel regularly, you will see where in this particular video right here, we thrash this thing to the absolute limit. Now you see some scuff marks. We froze this overnight for 12 hours, threw it off a 50 foot bridge. We dunked it in the water for over 30 minutes and we dunked it in the pool for about 25 minutes. We just kept throwing it, tossing it, chunking it, trying to do everything we could and from a build quality standpoint to try to break this flashlight and we couldn't. So both of these flashlights have my unreserved seal of approval and if you want to learn more about these, I'll definitely be dropping those in the video description as well. This first one is from the Recycled Firefighter. This He's got a bunch of stuff now on Amazon and I'll be dropping some links where you can check that stuff out but it's got a really nice elastic strap. So you can put your cash and this can hold about three to six cards pretty easily, but it's made out of recycled firefighter hose, which is awesome. And cause that is a way to basically buy something that was old and make it new again, which is really freaking sweet. The next up is for those guys who like synthetic uh, material. This is Kydex from my buddy over at Cobra Kydex gear. And it also has a removable carbon fiber print money clip, which is freaking sweet. And that allows you that if you want to go super minimalist, you can in a money clip scenario, but this will also holds cards in a pinch. And this is from Off Emir Leatherworks. This is their gun deck wallet. You guys have seen this plenty of times. This one's currently empty, obviously, but it's an envelope style wallet. It's great. I've been able to hold all my cards in here, plenty of cash, and then it flips over kind of like a messenger bag in your wallet. And I love this because this has got to be, as far as wallets go, my most comfortable. And then we have the Trayvax Contour that I am currently rocking for Father's Day. And Trayvax makes some excellent wallets. I'll definitely throw some links down in the video description so you can check out basically all the different models from Trayvax. And I mean, they're great. They have stuff that goes from like $30 all the way up the gamut spectrum. And this is pretty freaking nifty. As you can see right in here, I have some tool cards that I'll be jumping into. So these are the tool cards that I got on my wallet currently. This is the Tool Card Pro by Levergear. And this is the only tool card, like full on like urban tool card that actually works. Next up are some other tools by Grim Workshop. Now this is basically a knife, arrowhead and fishing kit. This is their very first card, which could be used as a big freaking self-defense tool or spear. If you needed to, it also has a saw, fishing kit, arrows. This is the burnable business card by Wazoo Survival Gear. I love this because you can kind of build this in a castle shape formation and have a really nice kind of tinder bundle already set up in your pocket. And they also give you a Fresno lens, which is freaking sweet. So you can start a solar fire if you have no other way or no other means to start a fire. And last but not least is this miniature hatchet and saw kit by Grim Survival. Now these are my keys and this is the key bar to keep all my keys nice and organized. But right here, if you check this out, this is the towel tool, which is awesome. I use this to basically save my blade so I can open boxes and packages and save my nicer steels for a more um, basically intense work. As well as the woodchuck keychain tool from Wanzu Survival Gear, there is basically a wire saw, ferrum serum rod, and a lot of cordage right here with in addition to a um, signal mirror. And this is the Spark and Sharp 
by Spark and Sharp. I love this thing because this is their mini edition, but it's basically really some useful tools. There's a bottle opener here. I know, I know everyone puts a bottle opener on everything. This is some carbide teeth, so you can sharpen your blade in the field. Also, this is, will make a good striker for a ferrocium rod, but you can also use that to sharpen serrations. But in addition to that, what makes this so useful is fire steel on the end of this as well. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, how many fire steels do you need? Yeah, but I go off the concept maximum effectiveness and basically having as much redundancy as I can. So this kind of works for me really, really well. Beautiful little beast, which is the Altoids 10. This usually has these two Ranger bands on it, so I can get a positive grip on it anytime and keep it all closed up no matter what. But this is my hobo stove. And a lot of people are like, what? Why do you have that? But I always thought to myself, if I ever got caught with my pants down, so to speak, and I didn't have my EDC survival bag with me because I was too far away from my vehicle, you know, something weird happened and I didn't have everything that I usually carry with me, having something like this in my pocket just makes a lot of sense. And basically, I wanted a way to be able to cook food in an emergency. So I'll kind of break this down and show you what I got. Inside the, the top lid portion is the Fresno lens portion of From Wazoo Survival Gear. But also, if I need some nighttime illumination, this is a glow-in-the-dark card from Grim Workshop. So it'll give me 10 to 12 hours of low light. That's what it looks like with all the contents laid out. I have some fat wood and some steel wool to start a fire, but also in this little tiny kit, I have fat packs from Wazoo Survival Gear. But in here, which makes this pretty freaking amazing, is I have about 16 of these that are stuffed in here. And in addition to that, I have a fire steel that um, came from an adventure kit from Wazoo Survival Gear, and we also have their ceramic knife. Because obviously you might need a blade in an emergency, but the sharp edge right here will make a very effective striking surface for your fire steel. All in all, this is what it looks like when it's all put together. Plus we have an ability to start fire in about a 20 piece tender set that goes fits nicely in here. But while you have your fire started, you get everything cooking. Then you use the post right here and you can set your stuff to boil your water, cook your food, anything you need. Also coming up later this week, I will be doing a full DIY tutorial to show you actually how to build and make one of these with the fire starting kit as well and where to get pick up all the stuff so you can build one of these yourself. Now the section everyone's been waiting for are my knives. What you see before you are some of my absolute favorite everyday carry knives, but for those of you who know me, <laughs> don't get it twisted, I do carry my big berthas every so often. So the ones we are so casing are basically four inches or less, and we're just gonna start left to right and let it go down. So this is my OD Green G10 Cold Steel Espada. This one is freaking sweet. It is made of CTS XHP and it is DLC coated. Got the really nice OD green scales. It's really ergonomic in the hand, but because of the design, it'll be good for piercing, stabbing, slicing, cutting, pretty much almost anything you need. Next is the 560 Freak by Benchmade. And now this is one of my favorite Benchmades they've made. This one was an early release for 2017. And this basically kind of reminds me of the Griptilian, but I like this one a lot better. It's got a much more ergonomic um, handle scales on it. It's got a deep carry pocket clip that I got from Benchmade. They sent that to me, but it's an upgraded steel of S30V. And as you can see, if you want to see the full review on that, you'll be able to check it out. But this is a first production run. Next up is the Jettison by CRKT, which is made by Robert Carter Knives. And this is a nice little Tonto sheep's foot kind of thing going on but it's got a full frame lock. It's a really nice slim little flipper. It's freaking sweet and for sub $30 coming centered and super sharp with a deep carry pocket clip, that's virtually unheard of. The next knife up is the CRKT Directive. Now they have two different styles, but I am more partial of the drop point, but I'll drop both links in the video description. But what the, some of the biggest points is as a generous lanyard port on it, but it has a four way pocket clip function. So you can basically put it anywhere you want to. It is a liner lock. It does come razor sharp, but for under 30 bucks, hard to beat. Next up is the Remedy by CRKT. This is a Leong Mong design and whew, this thing is bad. It's hollow grind. It's really freaking pointy and sharp. It's pretty amazing. It's a full integral frame lock, nice deep carry pocket clip, good generous lander hole. It's like literally the smoothest of the newer CRKT designs that I've played with so far. It's nice and slim profiled. It's pretty sweet. Next up is the Broken Skull by Steve Austin in Cold Steel. This is rocking CTS XHP steel, DLC coated, full flat grind. So you're gonna have a lot of slicing and pointing capability. 
because of that trailing tip point. It does sporting the nice triad lock. It's got a good pocket clip, but biggest winner is it's super, super thinly profiled, but still has a lot of textured grip. So when you're working on this, you have positive retention. Next up is the CRKT home front. This is a kit onion design. This is freaking sweet. This is sporting their field strip technology. I know a lot of you guys have seen that video that I did where basically what's cool about this, if you do get any dirt and grime and crap in your knife, you can clean it out. And just for everyday maintenance, not having to have tools to take this apart and put it back together is freaking sweet. And it's got a nice flipper action. It has basically that crazy integral uh, liner lock, which is, makes it a little bit different and special. It is nice and smooth, it came sharp. But for me, it kind of has this very World War One, World War II kind of like vibe with it. It very kind of harkens back to the spirit and the military of America, so I'm really digging this. Last but not least is the Tough and Light by Cold Steel. Now, I was completely shocked how much I love this knife. Um, it is a full hand design. It's kind of not supposed to be, but it's rocking a two inch blade, which is off eight steel, but that steel still works for the kind of the sheep's foot scalpel design. Um, it's rocking the triad lock. It's got a really generous lander hole on it, but it is so, it's so lightweight and is a little freaking powerhouse. This is definitely a must have if you want a cheap, but good knife. All right, so more or less, this is what my everyday carry is going to look like for this weekend and this week. Now, this is not actually out of the ordinary what I usually carry. Now, what I am really enjoying about the SOG Q2 multi-tool is it's gonna help me carry just a little less in the everyday. So I've got my keys with the tools that are attached to it that we went over previously. I have my off Amir gun deck wallet that has so many freaking tool cards. And we've got my Wazoo adventure bracelet, my watch, the Grim Survival dog tags, my notepad in case I need to write anything down, my broken skull knife, because since I already have a backup knife here, I can get away with carrying a thinner profile blade and it's not too heavy. But in a emergency escape tool for my vehicle or in a self-defense situation, I have the Larkin tactical pin by BattleBox that also coincides so I can write things down. And then in my pocket, I've got my hobo stove. More or less to kind of show you how that looks like on my physical body. Now keep in mind, it is summertime. I am a casual dressing person because of the fact that, well, with all of the filming and testing that I do pretty much every day, I am wearing comfortable clothing. And some of my favorite shorts to wear because they have a really high level of utility are cargo shorts. They allow me to carry some extra gear and for the fact that I am a gear tester, it allows me to kind of play around with different EDC rotations and experiment with higher levels and lower levels of gear than what you can do in like a pair of jeans. As promised, if you have a man in your life who is not as EDC inclined as some of us here are on the channel, I decided to drop a few awesome items that will be as useful and tough as your man is. So the first up we have the CRKT Rakasan. It's an awesome fixed blade knife. It is actually military inspired um, from a veteran of the military. We also have the Extreme Weather Fodder Starter by Four Directions Pushcraft. This is a full production version. This has been thoroughly tested on my channel and will start a fire in any situation. We have the Hydra Pack Seeker 2 liter, which is a collapsible two liter bottle of water container that will basically be good and it fits on a really small pack. Next up we have one of the toughest battery packs on the planet. This is a 16,000 mAh battery with flashlights from Outdoor Extreme Energy, which is also solar powered. I have two of my favorite flashlights, which is the A Tactical A1S and the A Tactical A1. These are some of the toughest yet most affordable flashlights on the planet. Both of them have been thoroughly thrashed and tested on my channel. Now this is a new item. This is the Valkyrie PL2 Weapon Light by Olight. This is a super freaking bright 1200 lumen um, weapon light from Olight, which is freaking amazing. Then we have the Field Master from Victoria Knox. One of the best, most classic EDC uh, multi-tools that you could find. Then if your man is more into a full-size multi-tool, I highly recommend the Gerber Center Drive. And then last but not least, we have the tool card Pro that is in my wallet as a money clip so he can have basically a really affordable multi-tool that actually works as a wallet. So if you enjoyed my everyday carry for Father's Day and all the outdoor survival care we showcased, Definitely show this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. Also, don't forget, we're going to be having links for all the items that have been mentioned and showcased down in the video description. But that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. 
I'm out.